Hey guys, what's up? So it has been a very, very long time since I have filmed a video. I actually have not filmed a video since I was in a brace. So obviously, wrist is all healed up. Um, just have a nice, lovely scar that, you know, takes up about, I don't know if you can even really tell, but it takes up about a third of my forearm from when I shattered my wrist and everything. And yeah, I just, I haven't really filmed since then. I haven't worn much makeup with everything with COVID and everything like that. And yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's been a weird year. So I haven't filmed in a while, but I, you know, things are starting to loosen up with COVID. I feel like I'm finally starting to get into makeup again. And this launch, I was so excited about. I have not been this excited for a launch in a really, really long time. So I bought the whole, Jaclyn Cosmetics Bougie Rouge Collection. So I bought everything in the collection so that way I can give you guys my feedback and tell you guys if I think it is worth your money and what items I think you should skip on or get or whatever and just give you my opinions on everything. So let's go ahead and get into everything. So I think, what do I wanna start with? I kinda wanna start with the cream blushes. So cream blushes are like all the trend right now um, on TikTok and everything like that. So there are four shades and the, um, I had a total brain fart, and these cream two powder blush sticks. Um, I will leave all the prices and everything down below because I do not know that stuff offhand and I don't feel like looking it up right now. So I will leave that in the description box down below. But let's start swatching these for you guys and then I will put one on the skin. So this one is in the shade Swoon. Um, first of all, I, I think the unicartons are really, really cute. They're like a rose gold and then they have kind of like the color on the side. Um, so that's really, really cute. And then they come in this little chubby stick and then it has her logo on the side. Let me try to get up close so you can see that. I don't know if you can tell at all or not, but then it's got the little um, product up here and then they are retractable. So this one is in the shade Swoon. I'm gonna put it on my hand. Ooh, pretty. Okay, so that one is the shade Swoon. It's a nice peachy color. It's very much on the orangier side of a peach. Very, very pretty. And then the next shade is called Empress. Right, yes. Ooh, and this one's like a nice bubblegum pink. So pretty, so pretty. Okay, next one is Overruled. Ooh, I like this one a lot. So this one is a nice mauve color. Very pretty. And then this one is called Royal Flush. Ooh, pretty okay and then this one is kind of like a strawberry watermelon sort of shades I'm gonna try to get up close so you can see so you have swoon empress overruled and royal flush all right so I think which one do I want to try Hold on, let me get my blush brush um I feel like I've seen everybody try Swoon, so even though that's kind of the one I'm most drawn to because I'm so fair, I think I want to try a different one. Um, I don't really have any, like, overruled in my collection, um, so I think I want to try that. So how I have seen, um, or how I saw them used in her video was taking a blush brush and just kind of, like, dipping into this. The brush I am using is IT Cosmetics. Um, number 113 soft focus blush brush so I'm gonna just kind of dust it on there like that and then I'll kind of smear it around on I put those on my hand so I'm gonna smear it around right there to make sure I got some of that product off of there oh I still did I still have a lot on the brush okay I didn't swirl it around very well obviously let me zoom you guys in a little bit So it has very, very good pigment. Oh, and I should say, I do have powder on. So um, she said that these can be weared over top of just 
liquid foundation or on top of powder and I do have powder on right now so in case you guys are curious um, I do think it is applying well over top of powder there's a bug that I just killed okay um that's a really pretty color I will say on the cheeks I don't feel like it's quite as mauve as I thought that it was um and then I'm just gonna I went a little overboard because I didn't dab off enough so I'm just gonna go in with my sponge and just kind of tap over that a bit but very pretty very very pretty okay so next I want to do I'm gonna take these off my hand really quick um and then the next product I want to try is these um what are they called the mood light is that, what are they called where did it say the name luminous rouge blush um so these are supposed to be like her mood light blushes but in a blush formula so I'm very very excited about these and I have not seen anybody try these just on the skin I've seen everybody try them over top of the cream blushes because I think that's how Jacqueline recommended using them um, which don't get me wrong I love that very pretty but I really kind of want to see what they do on their own so I want to do that on the other side um, and see how that does so this is what the unicarton looks or not the unicarton I just threw that away the unicarton looks like this so it kind of has the shade and then says the shade on the top and again that rose gold I love the rose gold um, these look like her new mood light packaging but in um, rose gold and then it's got the color of the J on the top which I think is really cute um, so I'm gonna open all these up and swatch these for you guys Alright, so I got those all swatched. So this one right here is Lover Boy. And then this next one is Love Poem. And then L O M L, which is Love of My Life. And then this last one here is Love Language. So they all look really, really pretty. Um, I think I wanna try I think I wanna try Love Poem um, on the left side of my face. So I'm going to open it up and I'm going to put just a little bit in the cap. I don't know if you can tell, but and then I am going to use my Morphe JH04 brush. So I'm just going to kind of swirl that around in there. Tap off the excess. Hold on, Luna. that's really pretty I think that's really really pretty so personally I don't know where kind of the idea came from that these um, luminous blushes aren't very pigmented because I think that has pretty good pigment it definitely doesn't have the pigment that the cream blush does but it does have pretty good pigment I would say I feel like that is a nice wash of color um, I'm gonna bring my mirror a little more up close so I can see it a little bit more up close um, the cream blush looks like it dries down fairly matte. Um, it feels nice. It doesn't feel tacky on the skin. I have definitely used cream blushes that they still leave kind of a sticky feeling almost. And if you have oily skin, those are an absolute no. Don't ever do them. Um, this one definitely is more sheer for sure. Um, it does have a nice luminosity to it, but it's not as luminous as I honestly thought thought that it was going to be I kind of thought that it was going to be a little bit more glowy than it is um, but I'm kind of okay with that because these were I think the product that I was the least excited about out of the whole collection um, just because I am oily so I don't like anything too shimmery on the cheeks because it's going to accentuate my oil as the day goes on and it's just not gonna look cute so I'm pleasantly surprised with that it does not accentuate lines or pores or anything like that so I like it so far I like it a lot all right so real quick before I kind of take this off so that we can try out more blush let's try out the lip products so these are called the lip cushions um I, I'm not really sure which shade goes where I'm just gonna start swatching them Luna do not mess up my camera my cat is right by my camera so if I have to stop that is why 
Um, I do love the packaging. I think this is so cute. So it's supposed to be in the color that um, the shade is. And then it says Jacqueline on the side. So this one is Last First Kiss. Leave it alone, Luna. Just go lay down. Just, just go lay down. Just go lay down, please. Oh, these are not the consistency that I was expecting at all. We'll see how I like that. Um, so this one is Last First Kiss. Very pretty. Just lay down, Luna. No, no. Luna, leave it be. Mm -mm. No. Sorry, my cat is like right here and wants to be in the action, so I apologize. This one is Sincerely Yours. Then... And then this one right here is Promised. Alright, this one is Lip Locked. And lastly, we have one and only. All right, so let's try these on the lips. I'm gonna start off with um, Last First Kiss because that one looks like it's probably the lightest. I have a little bit of um, a lip balm on, so I'm gonna kind of dust, not dust, tap that off. And let's put this on. So I saw that like it's probably best to like pat it out, so that's what we'll try. It's an interesting formula. I'm not sure. Let me get it all on the lips and then I'll figure it out. But Okay, so this one is Last First Kiss. It's very pretty. I will say I do like it better on the lips than I did applying it on the hand. Applying it on the hand, I I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe the texture exactly. It's pretty moussey, but like a thick moussey, not a thin moussey. And I was not sure how I was going to like it, but um, so far I actually really, really like the shade. Um, it looks really good with the blush shades I have on right now. I feel like this side looks a little crazy because I went a little overboard. I misjudged how pigmented they would be. But let's take this off and go on to the next one. Okay, I'm just going to dry out my lips a little bit. And then the next one is Sincerely Yours. Totally going to make a mess of my lips. Alright, this one is Sincerely Yours. Very pretty. I feel like it looks very different in person than it's looking on camera. It looks way more orange on camera than it does in person. Um, so I don't know if that's just the lighting of like the time of day that it is. I'm not sure. But this is a really, really pretty color. I like this a lot. Alright, on to the next one. Okay, so now that we're getting darker, I think I'm going to try not kind of rubbing it out because I think um, I'll make a mess, you know, as we start to get darker. So this next shade is in the shade Promised. Very pretty. I think this one goes with this, um, which shade did I use in the brush? Blush? Overruled? I think this goes really, really pretty with this blush because I know the idea was kind of to, um, have them be monochromatic um, was kind of the goal so and I feel like that looks really really pretty with that blush shade again I feel like it's coming off almost a little different on camera so I don't know if it's just because of the time of day or what but sorry all right next one Um, I swatched them a little out of order on my hand. So the next one is One and Only. Very pretty. Sorry, this swatch kind of looks like shit. But that is a very, very pretty color. Okay. On to the last shade. So this one is Lip Locked. Okay, again, I'm sorry, the lip swatch is very messy, but this shade is very, very pretty. This one was lip locked. This is the darkest one in the collection. Um, I really like this shade. I will say this is not a shade that I 
will reach for very much. Again, I feel like it looks a little different on camera. When I'm looking in the viewfinder, it looks a little bit more red, whereas in person, it looks like almost like a berry pink kind of color. Um, so it does look a little different on camera, but it's very pretty. Do I see myself wearing it all the time? No, unfortunately I do not. But I do really like it, and I think it is a very pretty color for like the spring and summer um, because it's deep but not being too deep either. So I love, 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 love that. Um, all right, I'm going to kind of take this stuff off, and then I will be right back so that we can play around with the two palettes. All right, you guys. So I am back. I am standing up because I have all of these swatches on my arm as I'm transferring them to my upper arm. But, so I can try to show you guys. So I started with the Rouge Romance palette. So they go Boudoir, and then Tea Room, Tempting, um, Fancy Pants, Pretty Posh, and then Ever After. And then next we have the uh, Cool Toned one, which is the Rouge Affair palette. And it is Fantasy. Um, French Kiss, I feel like those are hard to see, French Kiss, um, Living Lavish, and then Admirer, Dainty, and then this one I did small so I didn't go over my scar, um, and Forever. So, now let's get into, no, oh, I don't know what I got on my chair. Now let's get into the palettes and actually trying these on the face. Where the hell is that piece of hair? excuse me okay so one thing that I did see requested from somebody I think it was on Allie Glines Gines I'm not sure exactly what her last name is but I saw this requested on her review video of it of uh, somebody really wanted to see um, what some of the more bold colors in the palette looked like on fair skin since Jacqueline did recommend or not necessarily recommend but she did say that you can use these on fair skin as well as long as you use a really really light hand so I think I will try that I'm a little scared not going to lie a little scared about that so I am a little scared to try a really bold one just because I am so fair, so just for reference, in almost any foundation shade, I am like the lightest shade. So, like, let's use an example. Um, the foundation I used today was the L'Oreal Freshwear, and I mixed pearl with just a tiny bit of true beige. So, I'm very, very fair. So, sorry, my phone's going off. Um, so I'm a little nervous for this, but let, let's try it. So I'm going to go in with Boudoir, which is this one out of the, sorry, the lighting just got all weird. But this one right here, um, this is out of the Warm Tone palette. So I'm going to try this on this side of my face. Um, and so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a tiny, actually, scratch that. Scratch that. Let's try, I'm going to do two different ones on each side. And I'm going to go more natural first, and then I'll try that one. So I'm going to try the Cool Tone palette as the more natural side. And let's try, I think I'm going to do Admirer, which is this one right here. So I'm going to dip into that one. And there's not really much kick up, which is nice. And then I'm just going to pat this on. And I'm using my Morphe JH04 brush as well. I'm going to go light-handed for if I want to even these out afterwards so I don't look crazy. Very, very pretty. I like that blush color a lot. A lot, a lot. Okay, so now I'm going to try Admire, or no, Boudoir, sorry. Boudoir, this top one right here in the warm one and I'm literally just gonna like boop, and then just make sure I top off all of that excess and then put this on the face okay so yeah you definitely can wear this if you are more fair for sure just with a extremely light hand so I'm actually not like doing super light pressure on the face or anything like that it's more so just that I hardly picked up any product and made sure to um, really tap off any excess 
I apologize, my phone's going off again. Um, but that's actually really, really pretty. I kind of thought I would look like a clown, but I like that. Hmm. And aside from like, the only other shade that I think is more intimidating is this one in the pink one, which is in the shade um, Forever. Or I guess I should say the cool one, not the pink one. But so to me, that was one of the most intimidating shades in these palettes. And that actually looks really, really pretty. So I like that. I like that a lot. Alright, so I'm just going to go pop on a little bit of highlighter and then I will be back to kind of show, not show you guys, talk to you guys about my um, final thoughts of the whole collection. Alright you guys, so let's get into the thoughts on the whole collection. So let's start with the palettes. Um, so I really like these palettes a lot. Um, I think... They look really nice on the skin. They're not a chalky matte. She did say they were more of a satin finish, and I would definitely agree with that. They're not like a chalky matte at all. Um, so I really, really like these. I think deciding on which one you would want to buy strictly depends on whether you wear more peachy tones, which is this one, or if you wear more of the cooler, pinky, lilac-y kind of tones. So um, I personally like both. It just depends on my vibe for the day. So... Um, Hence why, you know, obviously I wanted everything out of the collection. But I think these are a definite must, I think, especially if you do, um, like, bridal type or, like, on-site type stuff. I think that it would be great in your collection. Um, I'm going to try to speed through this because my camera battery is dying, so I'm going to try to get this done before it dies. Um, but I think those are an absolute must. Um, next, we have the cream blush sticks. So... Especially with cream blushes being very, very popular right now, I did really, really like them. I think that they went on really well. I liked the, like, dried down version of them. But be careful with them because they um, are way more pig pigmented than I expected them to be. And I had went a little heavy-handed. So I do really, really like those a lot. Um, just, you know, use with caution. So... Next, we have the Luminous Blushes. Again, I actually really, really like these a lot. So if you like um, more of a Luminous Blush and you definitely don't like a matte blush, but you don't like creams, then I would say go with these. So if you are more of a powder blush, but you like it to be luminous, I would say do these ones. I think they are absolutely beautiful. Nice and like very buildable to get more pigmentation, but I really, really like them a lot. Um, and then last but not least, we have the um, lip colors. So, honestly, I think this is the thing that I, I am not, like, completely sold on in the collection. Um, I love all of the blushes. These, I'm, I feel like I'm still kind of forming an opinion on. So, on my lips right now, I feel like it's possible that my lips just feel a little funny because of, like, swatching all of them. But I feel like it feels a little weird on my lips and I don't know I'm not obsessed with them um it's not my favorite formula um so I don't know I think if you I think if you're like an avid liquid lipstick user I think you're probably gonna hate them I would not recommend them but if you like liquid lipsticks and like regular lipsticks I think they probably are worth the try but I will say they're not like an extravagant lip product they're not like I don't know I'm still developing an opinion on them. They're not something that I'm like, oh my gosh, they're amazing, you need them. But they're good, but eh, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about them yet. I feel like I'm very aware of my lips and I don't like that. So that's, I think, the biggest reason. They're not a, it's not a super comfortable formula is what it is. So they're not bad, but they are definitely not my favorite. I don't see myself reaching for them all the time. Um, so if you're going to pass on anything in the collection, I would say pass on the lips. Um, all of the blushes from the collection though, I do really, really like. So as long as you just find what colors you like and everything like that, I would recommend honestly all of them depending on what kind of stuff you do, whether you like a more matte, I say matte in quotations because they're not like a chalky matte because some MAC blushes are kind of chalky matte and I don't like that. So they're not chalky matte at all but if you like a matte powder blush I would recommend the palettes. If you like something that is more of like a satin matte but in a cream formula I would recommend the cream 
sticks and then if you like more of a luminous blush but you like it in powder then I would recommend the luminous blushes so all of those I think are really really good I will say I think the lips you can probably pass on unless you're like oh my gosh I really really want to try them but my personal opinion I think you could pass for sure um, so that is it for everything in this video I hope you guys enjoyed thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next one bye